Throwing guys on the stand here. I'm gonna pull you up on YouTube. PC behind me here. There you go. Your charger's on. Hey, video quality is awesome here. Like, it was pretty crappy, but now that I'm running like this, it looks really good. All right, let me send a link to my people here. Then we'll get it going on this stuff. We're looking at some skylines here. Had a good uh, friend of mine send me out a box. And uh, some stuff he didn't want. We got him some Sour Patch Kids. Which I'm super, super psyched about those. Second, I'm trying to get their uh, messages up here. Then we start this out. There you go. Alright, their invite is sent. If they make it, they make it. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> here we go. Let's bring you guys back up over here. I have no idea how many viewers I got in here at any given time. You have to chat. If you want to chat with me on the side there, you can. It is active and functioning. You got any questions or whatever? About real cars or uh, diecast cars, one of the two. Or 3D printing or RCs or... Metal detecting or Jeeps or anything, man. I, you know, I dabble in it all, so. We'll see what happens here. Do this up a little bit. All right. So this is from my buddy of mine. Uh, his name's Eric. Um, and uh, you know what's funny is He's supposed to send me this stuff priority. Um, he's not supposed to. Right? We didn't talk about it or anything. He kind of just uh, took it upon himself. I don't think he charged me shipping, to be honest with you. Uh, he shipped it out. I bought a few of these. He threw some other stuff in. He's just a really good cat. Um, big, you know, collecting the diecast world. Uh, he knows I love Skylines. He knows about my R32. And, um, yeah, so he, he always offers when he gets the Skylines and things like that. He's like, hey, Brandon, I got this. Do you want to check it out? And absolutely, I do. So um, this is what happened here. This is where this box came from. He it actually went on a boat. This is on a boat for 30 or 45 days. 30 to 45 days, it depends on when you ship them out. Uh, they can pretty much they fly to California and then they load them on a, in a container and then once the container is full, then they put the container on the boat and then it floats over to Korea. That's how it works. So that's what happened to this box. It arrived pretty awesome. I mean, there's like there was like zero damage to this box. Well, I mean, other than caved in here a little bit. But uh, he packages like amazing. Eric, Eric really packaged. I mean, look, he's taped all the blisters and all the cars. You know, that's an AP1, that's an R32. This is an R32 too. This is an this is a new super R32. But uh, if you're not familiar with diecast, make sure you stop over at diecast nerds. I'll put a link down below, and uh, you guys can follow us out up there and, uh, and check them all out. I'm gonna open this up. And we're gonna take a quick look at this one. I have a couple of these, but I try to get my hands on all of them I can for these. I'm kind of a hoarder of these because I know like maybe in a year or two, three years, five years, these were gonna be worth money. The ones running around right now are about 250 bucks ish. So, um, this one here, I think you can find, yeah, probably between $75 and $125, maybe. Something like that. Um, they're pretty cool. See how, uh, take all the blisters for me. Did a good job. And if you, if you are in the diecast community or not, I mean, people are awesome in there. And, and you know, <laughs> I love real cars. I really do. 
uh, but at the same time, collecting these smaller cars, there's a lot less overhead, a lot less maintenance, and all this other junk that you kind of encounter with uh, real cars. Obviously, you can't drive them, but you definitely can work on them at 2 o'clock in the morning and <laughs> have fun doing it without any uh, anybody bothering you. But uh, beautiful car. Beautiful blister on it. The car is absolutely mint. Very cool. Thanks, Eric. Another R32 right there. Awesome. That's a Super 2. You can tell Super by the wheels. I'm not sure if this actually has a TH anywhere on this car. Because this was a special edition. This is part of the Legends Tour right there. I don't know if that has a TH anywhere or not. Normally a TH will have a Treasure Hunt logo somewhere. But I'm not sure on this car. I've never ever wondered. No, it does not. Very cool though. I don't think this car, also this car does not have a mainline, which means non, a non-super. Anyways, let's move it on here. Beautiful car, Eric. Thank you very much, bro. That is dope. This is a first edition Skyline when the R32 was introduced into the Hot Wheels line. This is kind of a, it's one that's really climbing. I mean, you used to be able to get them for like, eh, 10 bucks, you know, something like that. But now every time I see them going up, man, they're reaching up there. They don't they don't go less than 20. I can tell you that right now. Um, especially in, in mint condition, and this one is. This is in stellar condition, Eric. Good job. Uh, I don't know what mine and my collection looks like. It's probably mint too. I only collect mint skylines. Um, or skylines that appear to be mint. I got a good friend, Art, who could disagree with that. He'd be like, no, uh, actually, there is no mint steak. <laughs> Which is funny. But this is in really good condition. Nice AP1. APT. Right there. This one's got some rubbing I can already tell on the on the, uh, on the blister pack on the inside. Basically what happens is these cars, like, they have a little bit of space. They can move up and down, move around. And they get scratched up top or in the back or the bumpers. or Especially the R32 because in the wide body version of these, um, in the early version, this casting, they have a wide body lip right there on the, on the, on the fenders. So they rub back and forth a lot when they're doing this. This one has a little bit on the roof, but not bad for a car like this. Not bad at all. Very, very good example of this car. First edition Nissan Skyline from 2000. Beautiful car. Eric put it in a killer case for me. Nice sterling protector. All right. That one makes me happy. Fresh flowers. What's up, man? Tell me that's Dylan Flowers, please. Tell me that's Dylan Flowers. Eric got me some Sour Patch Kids. Totally psyched about this, man. Thanks, man. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Estep. I'm going to take one of these right now. All right. Oh, God, it's sour. Okay, I'm okay now. So, what's a Legends Tour flag? It came with the Legends uh, Tour, right? When you bought a car, made a purchase, which I purchased like three things, but I've never gotten them, so I don't know where they are. I think you'll probably check on that. Long story short is, uh, there's a flag that comes with that Legends Tour skyline that you've seen earlier. Uh, oh, Sky here? Oh, yeah. Goes with that. And uh, pretty cool. I don't have one of these. I want to hang this up. Make it look too fancy. I want to look fancy. Find your lips. You find your lips. You find your lips, Dylan. I think it's Dylan. All right, here we go. Oh, that's the Boss Mustang. Oh, I think I accidentally... <laughs> this is actually mine. I, somebody won this in a raffle. A waffle, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I accidentally sent it to Eric's box. It actually got mixed up. <laughs> so we had to send a, another dude another one. So this is actually my car. This is a Boss, uh, boss Hoss Mustang. I guess I can go through the untaping of it, but I take these things to keep the scratches off the cases and everything else. The friction makes the plastic all cloudy. So, if you're wondering why there's things taped like that, for friction. So, I mean, we, I mean, it's here. We might as well take a look at it, right? So here we go. Take those real quick. The regular Hot Wheels case. 
These are super pretty cars. I heard they're like doubly pretty outside the package versus the inside. But not a lot of people open these things. If you see these uh kind of Hot Wheels red and flamed things, these are RLC cars. Red Line Club cars. Not a lot of people, not a lot of people open them. Kind of very collectible. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I think this is a new combi. We do not have this, me and Hannah. So my daughter, she collects cool combis. And uh, anything really cute, you know. Collects a lot of Hello Kitties, Dorymon, things of that nature. Uh, she does like some funny cars. Because the combi and like the drag bus and stuff, they lift up. Well, the combis don't, not all of them, some. And uh, so she kind of got into those and they kind of migrated into combis and then we kind of settled on that and like little T1s and stuff and buses. Uh oh, there's a call right there. Who was that? I love how people love to call you during your live. <laughs> it's Jordan. Denied, Jordan. <laughs> Another guy's like, who is Ricky Bobby James? <laughs> That's me. All right, let me get these here. There we go, Nightmare Before Christmas. Come on, baby. Stupid Hot Wheels cases. I like Hot Wheels, man, but their cases are terrible. You guys need to re-engineer re that if you're watching this, watching this Hot Wheels. Man, look at Eric's packing, dude. Good job. Let's see if Hannah's here. Hannah! She's not. Put this back on the other channel here. Hold on. Very cool little Nightmare Before Christmas combi. Ha <laughs> ha! This is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I think there's a premium of this too. I'm not sure. That that is cute though. Super cute. Anyways, let's continue on this mission. He put us in a case too. Eric's so nice. Thanks, Eric. Make sure I don't bend any corners or anything. Hannah will beat me to death. We go. All right, what's up next? Oh, dude, super cool. Coco. I just love it because this bear was here. This bear is super cool. I'm not even a big square body guy. That's this thing is crazy heavy though. Holy crap! Right there, got a coke in the back of the truck. That's super dope. That is a really cool truck. I kind of want to take it out and play with it. I like the bear and had that coke on his nose. Call my son Baby Bear. So, kind of uh, asked Eric, and Eric also collects this too. So, he's, you know, he gave it up. Ooh, look at this one. Showroom. Showroom Skyline R34 right here. Another Sterling case. Thanks, Eric. Those are nice cases. Oh, this is the one I, this is the one I just destroyed. I didn't destroy it. I, I literally was carrying it, but I didn't have a protector with me, so I put it, so like a towel over it, and the towel had some kind of moisture or some kind of oil or I don't know what the heck it was that had in it, but uh, it damaged the back side of mine, right here, like just kind of absorbed it, so it looks a little discolored, which I'm OCD enough to it was gonna bother me. So, um, I went on the hunt looking for another one, which. These aren't roaming around the, the place. And, and normally they're around 30 bucks, I think, something like that, for these Xamix. He even double taped it. So that's kind of cool with Mr. Mr. Eric. Let's see here. Now 
Man, that's a pretty car. Very cool. Gotta clean the blister up a little bit. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Um, there's been a lot of... We have a lot of studies here in South Korea. I mean, you know, South Korea is the home of Samsung and phones and everything else and technology. Um, there's been a lot of tests. I mean, not only South Korea, but the tape provides like a equal, like if, you, if you're like moving the car around or hit some kind of damage, it provides like an equal pressure amongst the whole blister instead of one point, like on the back of the fender or spoiler or wherever it hits. So it's 10 times likely to bust the blister if you use the tape. So you can quote me on that. So those that don't believe in taping in them are, yeah, sadly mistaken. I will clearly say that. You should tape the blister on those expensive cars with the right tape. Let me just rephrase that. And don't tape the dang card. Only tape the blister. Some people tape like on the card and it rips it off. Some people use the wrong type of 3M tape or just not 3M, but just painter's tape. And it's just too strong. I mean, that's 99% that's of people's problem using the wrong dang tape some people some one guy the other uh, last week or sometimes shipped me a dang car with construction uh construction tape on it <laughs> it was man it was crazy hard to get out there's a short card r30 right here this is really cool i don't have this one what's the card look like it's like it's got one soft corner there a little bit right there. But that, that's good enough to keep if I don't have another one, you know? I don't think I have this short card. Short cards are international most of the time. They have like a bunch of international language. They use them better and they ship them overseas instead of the long cards. Like, this is a long card, for example. See how it is? You know, so they make these shorter versions of them to ship overseas. So, this is a short card RS30 Skyline. For those of you just tuning in and not watching my videos and wondering why the heck... You're seeing more and more die cast on here. You're going to see a lot more die cast. I'm sorry to uh, change it up on you. But I just don't have the time to work on cars, real cars these days, man. You know, kids and work and everything else, man. I'm to be, I got to be working right now. I only got this quick break and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back to work here. Let's see here. It's just like some kind of hitch hauler. It's like a little guy in here, maybe a diorama or some type. What is going on? Why is it stuck? Right here somewhere. All right there. Come on, you butthole. Oh, it's the J hook right there. Oh, this is cool. Jeep National Parks. It's got a bear in there, like, ready to attack. Like a sign, maybe. A little tow trailer or camping. Yeah, like, like, maybe it's like a container boat or something on top of it. This is dope. It's a wolf. A little hiker. Dude, this is really cool. Matchbox makes so many cool things. Totally o overlooked. Very, very cool set. Jeep. For guys that uh, want to go check out my Jeep stuff, go check out Jeep Builds at Instagram, Jeep Builds uh, YouTube. Pretty cool stuff there. Pretty cool stuff. Duct tape. Don't duct tape my cars. <laughs> Mr. Flowers. Oh, look at this one. Another beautiful R34. I think I had this one too, but Eric had such a good deal on it that I couldn't pass up on it, you know? A lot of that, a lot of that happens, you know. You got such a good deal, you can't pass it up. Oh, he's got a little bit of. Okay, so mine is mint. My other one's mint. I can, I can kind of open this one. I wouldn't feel bad about it at all. It's got a little bit of damage here on the on the corner on the side. I wouldn't feel bad about it at all about opening this baby up. Wheel swapping it. Put some real riders on it. But you probably still also sell this car for about 20 bucks, mm -hmm. which is funny. Because they, they do range of $30 for this car easy. Let's 
so I'm not sure what to do with it just yet. Might crack it, might leave it, not sure. We'll decide later. This is the R34 2010 new models. Very, very cool car. All right, what's, what's we got, Eric? Here's another one. What's this? This looks cool. Oh, off-road CJ5, a 50 Chevy Suburban. That is super dope. Very cool piece. Thanks, Eric. Did I buy this from you? I don't think I bought it from you. And you just threw it in the box. The Jeep Renegade right there. That is super dope. Window all folds down. I'm going to open that thing. We're going to take a look at that. All right, we got some stat cars right here. Jeez, what do we got in here? So many cool cars. Look at that. Super dope. So we got R34 Skylines, got R30 Skylines, we got some Wranglers, we've got uh, some Supers in here, we've got all kinds of cool cars. Let's see what he has in here. Hey, what is this? 68 Ford Mustang. It's all lifted and junk. That's a that's a cool car, dude. That is dope. The Matchbox got your little Mustang up there. Kind of bent, but it's like you know. Very cool car to kind of crack and put some real riders on. It's really cool. I'm running out of space already here. What else we got? Bronco. Right there, Ford Purple. I like purple. Uh, that's purple spark. Sparkle. Sparkle to it. This is Super Gold. Subaru, Subaru Sambar truck. Like a little sriracha, sriracha truck. That is super dope. Look at that. <laughs> it's probably probably my favorite thing I opened in this <laughs> in this box. It's super cute. That's oh, a banana vehicle. What the heck is going on? Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one has Subaru on the back of it. These are super cool. These are super cool trucks. Look at that. Little Subarus. One's a Sriracha and one's the, just a Subaru truck there. Those are super dope. That, that psychs me up right there. There's a banana. Big, big banana car. <laughs> I'm going to wheel swap this. <laughs> this is super cool. <laughs> what a cool. What a cool set right there. Couple Bronco or the Bronco and the uh, off-road Mustang. It's a '68 too. Very cool. Little skull on the hood, kind of patina on the front of it. What a super dope piece. All right. So what we got out here, Eric. How's the video quality, Dylan? Is it pretty good? That was a little bit of walk. The card is beautiful. Nice. That's a Liberty Walk uh, 350. 350 GT. Here. Thanks. Hey, Travis. We also got a free ice cream, so 
Sweet. Free ice cream. For the win. All right, what else we got here? The Skyline Liberty Walk. This is uh, in red. They got ice cream, guys. Just in case you're wondering. If you guys want ice cream, let me know. Thanks, Dylan. A Nissan GTR R35. Beautiful card. Look at that card. I might have to go back and look at my collection make sure that mine is in good as condition as this one is. That one right there is in great condition. Woo, look at this one. Night burners. What year is this? 2009. 2010 model right there. So the only bad thing about this one is some, somebody wrote on top of it. it probably wasn't Eric. Eric's very careful. Kind of OCD about stuff like that. They didn't write on it. Like they wrote on a post-it or something on the car. The yellow one is a very popular one. I see this all over the place. I got this in a bunch of short cards. This is a really nice car. Thanks, Dylan. I'm going to move you in a little closer, dude. Tell me if that's even better. Very cool. Oh, more. More cars. Woo, I just seen this in this morning for sale. I was going to buy it from somebody. I didn't. Man, that card is beautiful. I mean, gorgeous. That is awesome. What a cool GTR collection. I didn't even really collect GTRs until like recently. I started to find some really nice ones, like in the in the resin model options. Oh, Guacilla right there. Beautiful Guac. Beautiful card. Tanner Fox right there. Man, that's beautiful. Look at that. That is, I can honestly say, that is a beautiful set of GTRs. Gorgeous. Gorgeous set of cars, Eric. Thank you very much. Wow. Love those. Sorry, I probably killed everybody's eardrums there. Look at all this, look at all this bubble wrap, man. Eric, I commend you, dude. This is awesome. I have no idea what's in these. Oh, R32 Skyline. Beautiful card as well. R32. So pretty, I don't even want to let them go. I thought these were going to be in like rough, little rough shape, so that way I don't mind opening them. But geez, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful card. Blue R33. Beautiful blue on the R33. I think they skimped out on the 32s and added all the nice paint for the R33s. Look how they package these things. That is pretty cool right there. Good job, Eric. R32. And like a darker blue. I know some of you guys have been watching, you'll be like, where do I get these cars? Hit us up with Diecast Nerds. Run over there. Check us out. Become a Diecast addict with us all. This purple is probably one of my favorite. And it's an R33, which is really weird. It's like my least favorite Skyline. Woo! Look at that red. I don't even know if I have this car, to be honest with you. I probably do somewhere. The card's beautiful.
beautiful R34 right there. Another R34. Green. She's pretty, isn't she? This is a uh, another R30. So like in a silver variant. It's really pretty. It's very like old school. Tail lights on the thing is super dope. <laughs> I like how Eric is. I told you he's OCD here earlier. Look how look how look how he packages things. <laughs> they were separated. R32, R34, R30. This one, see, this one's uh, this one's definitely an opener, which is cool because I can wheel swap it. This one, on the other hand, is not. It's a beautiful card. I would feel bad about opening it. Oh, look at R34. Wow. Beautiful card. Beautiful car. Another GTR. What a beautiful collection. That's a that's a pretty car. Holy crap. Beautiful white R32. Black R35. What a nice little collection. Play all these in the same. I have to put them on the table. I'll move his box out of the way and put them on the table in a minute. Here. What a cool set! Whole collection is super dope, Eric. Thank you so much. All right, last box. Let's see what's in here. I'm gonna lay these out, take a couple pictures, and I get it back to work. got these from my boy these are super cool minecraft cars let's see what he thinks about these look at that that's super cool also lot my son plays a lot of minecraft and fortnite he's 12 all kind of stuff i've seen these cars i didn't know they existed so i hit eric up and man, <laughs> he's had these cars for me for a while now i think That's cool. It's like a wagon gasser almost. Zombie. So there's space in between there for the things. Look at this. Skeleton. Oh, it's got a fork up in front of it. Iron Golem. It's a bone shaker. It says TNT on the creeper. Wow, that is dope right there. It's called the Enderman. That is a cool car. That's super gangster. Okay. 
Wow, that is really cool. It's like a it's like a dump truck. Looks functional too. Spider. Very cool. Thank you so much, Eric. These are super dope. What a cool box. Man. This is a load of fun to open. I mean, what a cool box. Tons of great packing material, too. Free packing material. Woohoo! So I got all these Minecraft cars here. Check these babies out. What a cool set, man. Super cool cars. It's not even including all these. Well, that one's not a skyline, but... Avalanche. These here. Yeah, so many cool cars. Wow. What a collection, Eric. Thank you so much. I had a blast opening that box. Let me take you guys off the stand here. All right. So, I know I only got like one or two viewers in here. I don't know. I don't know how many viewers I got. I, it's unbelievable how many of the algorithm works or whatever doesn't introduce my live anymore. I'm not sure why. But uh, the video stays here on live, uh, stays on YouTube. So, um, it's pretty cool. Everybody can go to view it. And uh, yeah, check out these cars. If you got any questions about these cars or where you can get them or models or anything like that, let me know. Just message me. Hit me up. And uh, I'll post the Diecast Nerds uh, collection group down down below, and um, you guys can uh, visit us out. Visit us up and check us out. And uh, if you guys have anything you're looking for, any kind of any casting of your model RX7s, you know, we have tons of cars. So uh, any kind of diecast car normally you're looking for is is available. But uh, anyways, man, it's a cool collection. I can't get over all how many uh, GTRs and Skylines there are here. I mean, I have a ton of them already, but uh, I think this definitely. Uh, let's see here. Maybe that one is the only one I don't have out of here. But I want to go back and see which ones are in better shape than mine. If, because there are a few really nice uh, cars here. Uh, especially, I think it's that guy right there. Um, is, is really super nice. That guy definitely going to replace mine in the collection. Just because that little thing I got going on. This Coke is going to my son. And then the cool combi is going to my daughter. So thank you so much, Eric. Uh, Minecraft uh, ones are going to my son. Anyways, this is Brandon James, man. I get back to work. Uh, see you guys later, and I hope you uh, hope you have a good one, man. Happy hunting, Brandon James. Out.